Hi, this video is showing you how to use the multiple currency in your shopping cart. In your shopping cart, you can have multiple currency. Say for example, the shopping cart right now have US dollar, but you can actually change to the European dollar. It's very easy. You just go into the sales menu in your setting. Uh, your uh, back end uh, go to sales menu in the sales menu all you have to do is go into the configuration and go to price list choose price list and here and you can choose if you choose Europe and you click save then you go back to your side okay and uh, the side here and just refresh we load the tab and it will change to Europe side here and if you want to change back to the uh, dollar side all you have to do is to change this one to the USD and click save and go back to the uh, side here and you refresh the side and you should be able to see the dollar sign again do you need a different kind of currency? if you do need different kind of currency you can actually add more currency by just create and edit and you can add more currency to your system but before you be able to use multiple currency make sure you are enabled your microcurrency go to the setting and go to the user and the user choose your login name in your login name choose the account rights and the account right make sure you check the multi currency multi currency if you uncheck this one and save then you can only use one currency you cannot use multiple currency so this is uh, something that you want to check and uh, click save so you can use multiple currency if you have accounting application install you want to change your accounting system as well just go to accounting and in accounting go to the setting in the setting you should be able to configuration and setting you should be able to see your accounting setting here and default company currency make sure you choose the one you're gonna use and some of you might be saying that I don't see those options for example I don't see the setting the company option or I don't see accounting those options just make sure you have apps installed for those options that you want to use and if you still don't see the option make sure you go to a setting in a setting make sure you go to a menu you go to user and you give you you have all the rights uh, if you are administrator by default you don't have everything okay so make sure that uh, you give yourself manager right and uh, the suppose there are more detailed rights um, beneath and if you want to see those uh, detailed rights you have to go to the uh, uh, about here and choose active developer mode Okay, so in development mode now you actually can see that there are more listing here, uh, more listing here, and you go to a user and you go to your login screen and you choose edit. Now you can see a whole bunch of stuff because you used to only have the uh, uh, stop here, but we can see more. And just make sure you check yourself to have all the rights so you can have all the different menu after your app install and uh, this is to show that what menu can I show up, what menu not is going to show up. Thank you so much for watching. You have a very blessed day. Bye bye.